So how does all this translate into building competency models? What's your approach to it at Investors Brink? We're rolling out a eight family, eight competency family program. We're just in the middle of rolling it out now. So there's close to 50 competencies that um, we're aligning with jobs in the bank. So we have about 430 jobs, job titles in the bank. So each job title is uh, aligned with uh, certain competencies that would support that job and help that person be successful in that job. So we look at investor citizenship, we look at ethics and compliance, we look at sales service, um, leadership management, uh, communication, and then specific job skills. And when we take these competencies, it really defines to the manager and to the employee, here's what it takes to be great at your job. Here's the competencies in communication that you need to be aware of and develop. Here's the competencies in uh, ethics and compliance that you need to be aware of and develop. And so that creates an awareness. And people now know, oh, okay, so this is what's expected of me to be successful in this job. So it creates a clarity, but it also teaches our leaders what to look for. And, and what's important, because if we ask a leader, you know, what are the seven competencies of communication that every employee should have? I, I don't know, but now they do know. They said, well, here's our seven competencies that we feel are important at Investors Bank. So even our supervisors and managers, if they're aware of it, they could help train it, they could help coach it, they could help support it. So these competency models help everyone in the bank understand What's expected of me, not only as an investor or employee, but as a, a free agent in the marketplace? This is what I need to have and need to own and need to be good at in order to be marketable in corporate America. And so those models help us. Uh, we're rolling them out now. And so how do we get it to work? Well, the competency model doesn't sell itself. So it goes back to why do I want to get better? It's the why. So now it, it comes together. My job is to get people to want to get better. The competency models identify, here's the areas that you need to get better in to get better. So everyone's unique. So it gives them the model, it gives them the template, it gives them the machine to do it. My job is to get them to want to get better. And so we create the personal whys. So they work together now. Uh, I talked to a couple of companies that had competency programs and they just discontinued it because they couldn't get people to take it seriously or to use it on a regular basis. And it wasn't the competency model that failed. They failed at aligning people. Why should I do this? Tell me why. I know why the company wants me to do it, but why should I do it? Why should I put the energy into it? Why should I, why should I be uncomfortable doing this? Because this is going to take some time and it's going to make me uncomfortable and I have to dedicate some energy. So my job is to get them to want to do it. And they do it for their own reasons, so.